We had a windstorm yesterday, about 25, 30 mile an hour sustained winds over the course of uh, maybe six hours. So that ends up doing a bit of damage. Um, it throws garbage everywhere. Uh, anything that's not tied down and uh, even everything that is tied down just gets picked up and thrown around. So when things calm down, I'll have to walk around picking everything up. One day, I'm going to put a roof on my chicken coop to catch rainwater. But I didn't do it yet because I was afraid the wind was going to blow it off. So I just put a shade cloth to give the chickens some shade. But as you can see, it was able to rip that down too. It just pulled out uh, the crossbeam I had there. Uh, it was just held in with nails. But the nails were put in crisscross, so I'm pretty disappointed in that. The wind was able to pull off some uh, plywood paneling on my shed. It's a different wall than it was last time. The wind was coming from a different direction. I want to put stucco on this uh, shed, but I want to make sure that it won't all blow off. So I want to figure this out first before I put the stucco. It doesn't help that it's open so the wind can get inside and push outwards to pull off the plywood. But people's decks and other things are open to the wind and they survive. I looked up the code and it looks like the answer is just more nails. They don't recommend screws because screws tend to snap and nails will bend and give a little bit. Because what's happening is it, it's not so much the force of the wind, although that's considerable, it's the wiggling. I do get little, uh, dust devils out here, which can be a lot of wind, but it's very short, and that doesn't damage anything. It's uh, over six hours of the wind just wiggling and wiggling and wiggling, and it'll work out pretty much every nail. But the code says basically put more nails. Put nails every foot, every 12 inches, or every six inches. So I need a lot more nails in there. And uh, if that doesn't work, I may, again, put the nails at opposite angles uh, to make sure it really doesn't come out before I put my stucco. It's still too windy to put it up today. Uh, there's some wind and rain. Uh, it's not as bad as yesterday, but it's enough wind I don't want to go up on a ladder. So I'm stuck in the house today again. Since I'm stuck inside again today, I use the time to make myself a pizza. Pizza is a pretty off-grid friendly type of bread to make because it doesn't need to rise all that much. I'll do a more detailed video about off-grid bread. But basically the problem is, is temperature control. So it's a little too cold for the yeast to rise in the winter and the bread rises too fast in the summer. So the bread is very unpredictable and it's hard to make a nice loaf of let's say sandwich bread. But pizzas are good because if that bread doesn't rise perfectly, if it's a little too doughy, it's still good. It's still a delicious pizza, a little chewy. Whereas if a slice of sandwich bread is a little sticky, it might ruin your sandwich. Also, it's fine to use baking powder in pizza. Tastes a little bit different, but honestly, it's a lot like some of those frozen pizzas. Like a tombstone pizza has a very baking soda taste to it. And very similar to a pizza, you can make a calzone. And if you, instead of putting um, sauce and cheese inside the calzone, you can put meats and vegetables and whatever you want and make a sandwich that way. I guess they call them pasties or hand pies. Uh, and that's also a very off-grid friendly way to eat a sandwich. I'll make up uh, half a dozen of them for the rest of the week. Uh, it doesn't take that much work. And that's it. I'm waiting to do my laundry. But it's pretty cloudy today, and it's supposed to be rainy and cloudy tomorrow. So I need to conserve power to make sure I don't run out when I need it. And that's it. Quick update on the homestead. The animals are all hunkering down in the wind and rain. And I am too. I'll see you next time.